Hello everyone. Well, today we're going to have a listen about the passive voice. Well, our presentation is going to be um, divided into two parts. Part number one, we're going to see passive voice with simple tenses and modal verbs. But before that, let's have a review of verb to be. So verb to be in the simple present, we have am, um, is, and are. Verb be in the simple past, we have was and were. Verb be in the simple future, we have will be. Verb be in the present perfect simple, we have two situations, have been or has been. And verb be with modal verbs, uh, we have can be, should be, and must be. Well, I'm going first to focus on the, the simple tenses, like simple present, simple past, simple future, and present perfect simple. Now let's go now to the rule of the passive voice. So the rule of passive voice is like this. We have verb be, plus plus, party, simple. So just to remind you of the past participle, we have two types of verbs. We have the first one is regular verbs, and we have irregular verbs. So regular verbs means verb plus ed, and irregular verbs are exceptions, and we find them in the third column of irregular verbs. Right, so I repeat again, so here the verb be plus past participle is the rule of the passive voice. Now, let's go now to passive voice with the simple present. Example number one. Mohammed plays football. And by the way, this is the active voice, which means the active voice starts with subject, then the verb, and then we have the object. So this is how it goes. This is the normal order of active voice. So Mohammed is the subject, uh, Blaze is the verb, and football is the object. So in order to change it into the passive voice, so we, uh, we have to apply some rules. And don't forget the first rule that we saw about the, the, mean the passive voice, which is verb to be plus plus participle. But before reaching that uh, um, before reaching that level, let's have a look at the other changes that we've got. So as you can see, football is the object and it becomes the subject. And vice versa, the Muhammad is the subject, it becomes the object. At football, football here is singular, so we use is plus plus participle of play, which is play regular verb. And don't forget, of course, by Muhammad, who the person who did the action. So it, is, it gives us the final answer. Football is played by Mohammed. Let's go now to example number two. The students speak English. Again, we have English become subject. It was object in the active voice. Now it becomes subject in the passive voice. Then we have the students, which is the subject in the active voice. It becomes the object in the passive voice. Then we have here, um, you should know um, how to deal with the verb here, which means the verb is in the simple present, which means that the verb to be must be in the simple present too. And be careful here because we have an irregular verb, which is speak, and the past participle of speak is spoken. So it gives us this rule here, English is spoken by the students. Right, now let's move to the passive voice with the simple past. Let's have a look at this example. Mohammed played football. Again here, it's needless to um, remind you of changes that we've got. Mohammed again here is the subject. We have played, which is a verb, which is conjugated in the simple past. Don't forget that. And the object is football. Now, let's um, make the chain necessary changes. We have football becomes a subject, and Mohammed becomes the object, 
and again we have played which means the verb is in the simple past and we saw verb to be in the past we have two options we have either was or were so in this situation we have football we write was played and don't forget by Mohammed so as you can see if the verb is in the simple pa past well verb to be must be in the simple past as well let's have a look at example number two the student spoke English again here English becomes the subject and the students become becomes the object and here we should again be careful with the past participle of speak which is spoken and it is in the past so if you have verb in the past verb to be must be in the past as well so this is the final answer English was spoken by the students let's go now with passive voice with the simple future the same example here Mohammed will play football again Mohammed is the subject we have will play is the verb play is the verb and football is the object so the change here well we're going to have football becomes subject and Mohammed becomes object and just one thing here concerning will play this is a simple future so we saw in the in our review of verb to be that well becomes well be plus the past participle of the verb so don't forget that we have will becomes will be and then we look at the verb if it's regular we add ed and if it's irregular we um we have we will have a look we have to memorize the irregular verbs the, in the third column of irregular verbs and don't forget to buy as well well the next situation passive voice with the simple future example number two the students will speak english again here we have english becomes subject and the students becomes the object and well we add b plus plus participle of the verb which is spoken so it becomes english will be spoken by the students now let's go now to the passive voice with the present perfect simple let's have a look at it here Mohammed has played football so Mohammed again here is the subject has played is the verb and uh, the verb here the tense of the verb is in the present perfect simple and football is the object so football becomes the subject and Mohammed becomes the object and um, concerning the verb here we have has played here we have just uh, I want to draw your attention if you have your football uh, this is the singular so we should write has but if you have the plural you should write have which means here has been and as you can see we added been between has and the past participle of the verb by Mohammed as well now let's go now to the next example the students have spoken English again here English becomes the subject the students become the object and has been spoken this is the the answer because English is singular and has is the uh, I mean is singular so we use has in this situation here and don't forget being between past participle and the verb have and by of course be before the the action the, the word of the action now we reach the fifth situation which is about the passive voice with modal verbs so let's have a look at example number one Mohammed can play football and we talked about uh, modal verbs like can like must should have to has to etc so here we have Mohammed again is the subject then we have can is the modal verb and play is the verb the main verb and football is the object now again football becomes the subject and Mohammed becomes the object and if you have here can in this situation we add be for example if we have can we should write can be if we have should should be if we have must must be we always add be 
uh, and we uh, insert it between can and the past participle of the verb. Let's go now to the next example. The students should speak English. Again, we have English is uh, becomes the subject, the students becomes the object, and here we have should, we should write should be, and look at the position of be again, it's between the past participle and the modal verb, and by the students. So, th th that was it, that was the end of part number one. I hope you understood um, the, the lesson. So, let's meet in part number two of uh, the past.